15 degree temperature drop. Okay. <coughs> so here's the big weather picture. I showed you this low pressure system yesterday down near Bakersfield, California, sitting and spinning. The jet stream coming up from the south here. There's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. That's why we're getting the real heavy rain with these showers that are popping up around the region. Not a huge flow in the atmosphere to really make these storms roll quickly. So they're moving fairly slowly. That's why we're getting ponding of water on roadways, uh, getting some areas, some real heavy rain coming down. Uh, there's some little disturbances and one supposed to come right up, possibly coming right across Boise as we go through the rest of the evening. And that could really enhance the rainfall for a time. So look at this map here. This is the dew point map. Dry air when you have lower dew points, you see 34 in Baker City down towards Twin Falls 46. But right here in our region throughout the Treasure Valley, Southwest Idaho, high dew points. That's where the moisture is, and that's why we have the best chance for rain tomorrow. Going to be a transition day. We're going to have some rain maybe in the morning in some places. A lot of cloud cover. We could break into some sun, then maybe some thunderstorms. Then a front comes through. Then the wind picks up. So all kinds of changes during the day tomorrow. By the time tomorrow evening rolls around, drier air will be coming in from the west. And on Thursday, real dry air. Look how low the dew points are. Instead of being in the 50s, we'll be dropping into the upper 30s. So a big change uh, coming in there. So the future cast shows those showers and storms popping up around. This, again, this is a computer forecast, but it shows about 8 o'clock tonight, 7, 8 o'clock. Still showers and a little organization as this starts to rotate going up into the Boise Mountains. So it may stick around some places anywhere from uh, northern Ada County to Caldwell to Emmett. And this area right in here may have some prolonged showers going on this evening. And by midnight, it'll try to dry out. But you still see here 8 o'clock in the morning. We may keep showers going overnight, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms overnight tonight. And then tomorrow we could get a break and get a little sunshine, but that's going to help some showers and storms form, push in from south to north. And then we're going to clear it in from west to east. And that'll come in Thursday morning. You see the cloud cover disappearing. It'll be a breezy day Thursday. Winds up to 20 miles an hour. A refreshing change coming in. Here's my Scott score for the day tomorrow out of 10. I'm giving it a six. Now at times it could be really comfortable, but because we have showers mixed in, probably some rain in the morning, we'll call it a six out of 10 for tomorrow, but at least it's not 105 degrees, right? Temperatures cooling down. Here's the McCall area and watch this time lapse view from the clear skies we had this morning with temperatures in the 50s. And then you watch the sky and it got to the mid afternoon and it was starting to darken right over McCall. Had about a quarter inch of rain with one th thunderstorm pushing on through and the temperature dropped down uh, from the 60s into the uh, upper 40s to near 50s. So a big change. This is this coming weekend. Okay, we're going to jump ahead and just keep showing you the weekend. We'll be warming through the weekend.